hello everyone welcome back to channel it's bilal over here guys in this video we will fix some issues with l805 first of all i will tell you what is the issue printer is printing nozzle test page and it's quite fine there is no issue with the nozzles nozzles are working quite fine the issue is with the printer when we print uh, photos passport size photo or big photos the black color is giving a brown shade okay we tried everything like uh, uh, the clean print head, power cleaning, manually cleaning. Uh, the issue is with the print head basically because after the massive use of the print head, print head is not giving proper colors. So the guys who are working with the uh, photo studios, they must aware of these things that if your color of your hair is not will not print black and it's printing uh, brown rather than black. So there's an issue with the clients to do not accept. So today in this video, I'm going to teach you how to disassemble the top cover and how can we replace the print head. I have print head new. I ordered it from AliExpress China and the cost of this head is around uh, less than $100. So let's start the process. We have to disassemble the printer step by step. First of all, I will remove these covers okay these covers and then there will are four screws two on the top side one is here and one is here two on the back side I will not disassemble completely, just top cover I will remove and then will teach you how can you install new print head. So basically in this video we are going to install new print head. That's how I removed it. Now we will change the focus of camera. So these are some tricky steps over here. This is unscrew. Carefully follow the steps if you are going to place print head. I will remove this plastic shield and then these pipes. There is a lock behind this, okay. We have to press this lock, then we will remove all the cartridges. This is our print head, okay. Before we uh, unscrew this print head screws, inside there is a one plastic over here. We have to remove this plastic. The lock of this plastic is behind, so we need tweezer, sharp tweezer to remove this lock. Then we will do it. There is one tiny lock on that side both side one right and one left we have to press the lock and we have to lift this this up okay same like from here we have to press this lock okay from this side and lift this up okay basically the lock i will show you lock these locks these locks you have to press and then lift this up and now there is on that side if you will see now we have to remove this plastic I'm not able to see well from that side ok 
something like this and this is also a lock because we have to remove these strips from here there are some screws off hand Okay, there are three screws of the head now we will lift the head upwards carefully from that side also one plastic I think okay, from this side also one plastic here we go guys this is our print head and we have to replace it so make sure of these two strips carefully remove and install the new one so this is our new print head that I ordered from China and I don't know the result yet so we have to replace it and then we will check the results So we have to place back the thing just right we removed earlier the inner plastic lock and this side So now we have to place back the things that we just removed earlier as you, I mentioned just a while ago there are some plastic locks on that side and these all these color tube there are six cartridges there and we fixed back well. Now we will place back this strip like this. Okay, it seems fine. Nothing else left. Here we go. This was the plastic the upper case the last thing is left over here and 
one screw of this plastic also All set, four screws placed back, two on the front side, two on the back side. So you have to make one time ink flush to work this uh, print head well. It's not printing. We have to make ink flush process. So, you have to make ink flush process uh, using uh, Epson maintenance utility.